Hi guys, this is Jamil and you are watching JTCAD. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to convert a DGN file to a AutoCAD editable DWG file. Uh, as you can see, I have MicroStation V8i open in my screen. And here is a DGN file that we will need to convert to DWG file. As you can see, the extension is DGN, which is microstation file format and the file name is test1 I will just go and open you can see in this drawing there are uh, all the objects are there in this file you can see the aspects of these objects in the drawing now for converting it to a dwg file so that we can open this file in in autocad for editing or submission purposes we will just go to utilities batch converter and uh, we'll just go to edit add active file the active file is the one that is open in this uh, window as you can see that this file is now added into the list the list says that number one file source is this is the uh, file location we will convert it to v8 version of microstation and the destination will be this so let's go and change all of these things we'll go to edit and uh, v8 save options means when we are saving our uh, uh, dgn file to any other file format like in this form uh, like right now we are going to change it to dwg file format so we'll go to dwg save options here it says that uh, what will be the changes that will be used in this conversion uh, DWG version will be up to 2009 level display will be global units will be master units as used in microstation file and the other things you can explore like references if there are any references attached how they will be uh, handled uh, same in here you can see the references uh, it says external attachment will be retained self-attachment will be merged to cell we'll say merge it and uh, the other things just uh, just keep it like that and in here merge displayed levels only means uh, only uh, while we are converting the only the levels or layers in AutoCAD will be converted only layers that are displaying or which are on any layers or levels that are off will not be converted so we'll just keep it unchecked and hit ok and uh, we are going to change it to dwg file as you can see here we have open test1 dgn it is 3d v8 dgn file format we are going to convert it to dwg to the destination which we are going to change it to our destination is F and JTCAD OK and we will say apply to selection now uh, let's explore this one if no this all settings you can save as a new batch from batch converter file in here you can see it is unlimited uh, if you want to create a new batch converter job just hit here it will create a new one if you have already saved a previous uh, batch converter job open it from here and if you want to save the current file current job just save it and if you want to add more files in this job uh, add this button to add more files if you want to delete any file this is for delete button and this button we are going to use for uh, processing our batch convert job just click it and the new window opens which says that this is the source file 
it will be converted to it is v8 format and the destination will be this will be converted to a dwg file and status is saying pending and when we convert it convert saying converting and now it is already converted Let's hit done and now you can see the file format test one dot dwg is now changed and it is in dwg file format uh, let's go and see where it is now see you can see here this is the file just now we have converted if we open it it will open in autocad file so this is how we can convert our dwg dgn format file to dwg easily uh, another format another way that we can open our dgn file uh, save our dgn file to dwg is uh, let's go ahead and open the same dgn file open now you can see it is dgn file that i have opened just go to file and export to dgn dwg dxf and there are multiple other file formats that you can use also this is dgn and dwg from here it's saying which is the destination and the file format name will say it is test2 dot we are going to save it as autocad drawing file right there are already autocad uh, drawing files the previous one we converted was test1 now we are going to convert it to test2 and when we hit save it will save but before that we can go here and check the options which are the same options that we earlier explored uh, this method you can use for converting one file each or if you have one file but if you have multiple files you can use the batch convert process uh, which is very easy and it will uh, save a lot of your time so in here i will go to hit and save you can see here in our test 2 is converted just now we have converted so this is these are two methods that you can use to convert your dgn file to dwg file uh, by using microstation uh, in this video i'm using microstation v8i uh, thank you very much for watching the video and do subscribe if you like the video